Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I've got a really quick card for you and it's using the uh, Textured Magnolia Drive washi sheets and the uh, Sentiments for All paper pack. I'm also incorporating some ink blending as well because it's one of my favourite things to do on cards. Um, so this is such a super quick card that you can make. You don't need any dies for it, you don't need any stamps for it either. So all I've got is my ink blending, um, uh, the washi sheets and the sentiments. So uh, let's get started really quickly. Now within the washi sheets you've got lots of different designs. Now it, all of these are adhesive and they're also die cut for you. So you can see you've got different colours of the magnolia design there. So we've got peaches and corals that, I mean, there's like a buttercream colour. I really love this one. You've also got leaves there as well. I really love this one though. So this one is uh, probably my favourite of all the colours. So I'm just going to cut this out because you do get two to a sheet. So trim that away and use that one another time. So as I say, these are all die cut for you. So if I just show you quickly the uh, design that we're going to get, so just carefully peel that off. You can see they're die cut all around the edge. So like I say, really, really super quick cards with these. Now what I want to do is I want to have uh, this image on my card and it will overlap the card. So I'll have to trim some of it just a little. And I want to then do an ink blended block from up from the top. So this is going to fill kind of almost the bottom half of my card. The top half is going to be ink blending that coordinates. Now the easiest way for me to coordinate my inks with any other embellishments that I've got is for you using the Distress Ink and Oxide colour chart that I've created. Um, I have this available on my website. You can go and download it completely for free and fill it in. Uh, I have now updated it with the most recent colours as well. So uh, with this, what I tend to do is I blend a colour of ink under the name and then I'll put an I or an O, depending on whether I have that colour in an oxide or an ink or both. So uh, that's how I fill my chart in. So I came to the purples. Now I must admit I've got some of these still to fill in. But I came to the purples. I had a look and I said, well, do you know what? Actually, Victorian velvet works really well with the paler colour within this washi. Uh, Sealess Preserves actually works really nicely with the darker colour. So I might change. I was going to use Dusty Concord. That was a bit of a guess, but I think I'm going to switch to Sealess Preserves. So let's just grab that one out instead, switch that over. And the same with my inking. There we go, so my ink brush as well. So I've got the two colours that I need that are going to work with this. So I want to essentially blend on my, on my card from a little bit of the darker colour down into the Victoria Velvet and then down into nothing and it will fade into the florals. You'll see what I mean as we do this. So I need to mask off my card front first of all. So I think I might open that up actually, it makes it easier to work with. I've got a low tack tape here. Now these are available on Craft Stash. There's three rolls of tape and the holder. It's about £4.99, £4.99 uh, in the UK. Available on the Craft Stash US site as well. Really, really um, handy to have. And the fact that you've got the refillable tapes as well are brilliant, but it's just a brilliant tape. Now with any low tack tape, whether it's this tape, washi, whatever it is, if I'm sticking it on my card and I want to peel it off, I still put it on my clothing. So I just pop it onto my trousers there. So I've got black jeans on today and that will just take some of that stickiness off. Um, it's not going to affect the ink blending at all, but it just ensures that you're going to get this really nice, nice sharp edge. So I'm just going to put that there. So about a centimetre from the edge of the card there. And I'm going to do that down the two sides as well. I'm not worrying about the bottom. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a clear ink. Now this is an embossing ink and I'm going to just brush some of this around this area here. Okay, so the reason for that will become clear in a little while, but I just, I'm really sort of protecting a little bit the card there. And now I'm going to come to the Victorian velvet because that was going to be the main part, the main colour for the floral. So Victorian Velvet, I've got a nice big blending brush. This is quite a pale colour usually. And I'm going to blend from the very top of my card. That's gorgeous. A really nice soft muted tone. Over the edge of the masking tape. 
I'm focusing on the top being heavier if possible and what I'd really like to do is fade down just being really careful that's not stuck very well there so just being careful to only use sort of sideways sweeping motions if I can there so as I don't get any ink under the edge because a nice sharp edge there is really what's going to make this look professional so apply the ink into the middle so I've gone about halfway down my card for the moment around about up to the edge where that clear ink is so just keep going with that working around in little circles I find the bigger your brush the smoother your ink application is going to be so keep going around nice coverage now what I'm going to do is with what is left on my brush is just start blending in circles down into that clear ink okay that what that clear ink is going to do is start fading your ink out nicely for you without you getting any harsh lines in the way so you want to mix the two the clear ink and the Victorian velvet and there we go so we've got really quite a nice blend there fading that out to virtually nothing there and then I'm just going to take a little touch this is an oxide rather than an ink because it's what I've got in this color you can mix the two oxides and inks absolutely fine um, but this is a much stronger color so I'm really going to just touch the top here with a little bit on my on my brush first of all to gauge how much ink and how deep this is going to be it's not too bad just working in small circles light pressure and just making that pressure a little bit heavier as I go and then I think I'll put a little bit more on just up here the very very edge a little bit darker as well there we go and then to avoid doing too much I can come back in with the Victorian velvet and just help blend that out a little okay so now what I've often found is because of the dampness on the paper when you've got studio lights and you're looking at ink blending like this it often doesn't look as smooth as it does to the eye now if you still find that even um, to your eye you find your ink blending isn't absolutely perfect something you can do is take um, a water spray so a little spray of water and you can give it a light spritz you can also do some larger splats as well and over ink blending this just helps to sort of cover up any imperfections that you might have there we go just like so give that a few moments to work and then we'll take a piece of kitchen towel so just lean over here of dry kitchen towel once that's worked for a few moments and we'll lift up the excess water there and you can see we've got our lovely speckled effect and that really does hide like I say any imperfections that you may have had or may have got during um, the blending stage now's the time to release all of your washi tape gently and you've got those lovely sharp lines this is the one I was a bit concerned about. I thought I might have gone underneath this a little. I have just a tiny bit, but not enough to worry about. And then again, across the top here. So there we go. We can see that the colors work really well with the washi. So now to apply the washi, decide which way this is going to go and start peeling off this is this just makes such quick cards and because it's big you can snip into it as well so you can snip it you can make it suitable for much smaller cards if you wish to make it go even further really the options are endless with these and because you've got so many different colorways too you've got lots of different ways of using it I'm just being very very careful here peeling it off making sure it doesn't stick to itself so pop it on my hand, gently work round the design, peeling it back off the backing paper. There we go. And now I'm going to place this down 
just about there. Now the white just kind of fades into the background, so the white of the washi, you don't really see that. It just disappears. There we go. And then I'm going to peel this off my background, take some scissors and snip this around the edge, snip away the excess. Now we've trimmed our card, it's time to just make sure you press down all of the edges of the washi, make sure nothing's catching. And you can see you've got that lovely floral image at the bottom that's just fading up into colour coordinated blended background at the top. Now of course this could be a card that is uh, sideways or horizontal like so. Now just to finish this off I'm going to use a sentiment. This is from the sentiments for all paper pack. Um, I'm just looking at this, I'm just thinking, and this is what I do, just thinking I want a little bit more of the pink to come down to here. There's a little bit too much white. We can go back in and do that. So just a touch in the center there. That's a bit better, I'm a bit happier with that. There we go. I do that from time to time. So there we go. So sentiments from all, um, for all, sorry. I've got lots of different sheets in here. These are getting really low in stock. I know that as is the washi actually. Um, but what I've done with my sheets is I've actually adhered some of them to uh, adhesive foam, so foam sheets. So I can just cut away a piece when I need it. So I think I'm just going to cut out the flowers just for you there. And this is a black sentiment. So that just means it's going to really stand out against the, um, the, the colours, the pale pinks and the white. And I'm just going to place that in the top there because this is adhesive foam. I can just peel off the backing, place it central. And for me, the last finishing touch is always some little black splats. So I've got here Dilutions Black Marble. I won't do a lot of this. This bit can scare people sometimes. I'm just going to do some tiny little splats here and a few down here. Not many. There we go. Just a couple. Ensure you wipe your, your table base afterwards just to clean up. There we go, I'll allow that to dry and there's a finished card, really, really quick and easy. You can make different color, color combinations of these depending on the washi, but as I say, the washi is available, it's on Craft Stash. I'm going to link everything down below, including the Distressings and Oxides, the Sentiments for All pad, and of course the Magnolia washi sheets. As you can see, you've got all these different colors that you can play with, creating different effects. Um, I'll also link for you too, the uh, colour chart, the distressing colour chart. So you can go find that, download it, print it off at home and start filling your own in. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'd love to see it if you have a take on this particular card. And please do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.